Now in this second section of EDI Adobe configuration, we will learn what configuration we have to do to create the sales order whenever a purchase order Adobe is received. As till the last session, we have completed all the purchase order configuration and we are able to generate the Adobe now whenever the purchase order is created. Now we'll see what needs to be done at the sales order side. This all steps we have to perform in the receiver system. As I'm using the same system, I'm doing all in one, but the creation of sales order part, you have to perform all this activity in the receiver system. So let's see what configuration we need to do. When PO details received through PDI Adobe from customer, based on that, the sales order to be created in the supplier company. This is the requirement. The first configuration steps we have to do in this is T code VOE2. That is, here we have to do assignment of partners. Like, when we want to create a sales order in year 01, we have to enter the order type, sales organization, digital channel, and division. But to perform all this activity automatically through the ADOP, we have to do that configuration of this auto determination we have to do in VOE2. Next setting we have to do in the T code VOE4 that is converting of external number to the internal number. So I will explain what is meaning of this. Then in the PO side, we have created a partner profile with T code W20. The same setting, same kind of setting partner profile we have to create in the receiver system. In receiver system, we have to create also have to create a logical system first and then on that we'll create a partner profile. And in the partner profile, here we have to maintain the inbound parameters with the message type as order S with the process code ORDE. I will explain this at the time of creation of this partner profile. That is to create the sales order. And the same inbound parameters, you have to maintain one more with the message type ORDRSP with the process code as ORDE, that is order confirmation. After this first three setting, next setting comes at the level of pricing procedure. In the sales order, the pricing procedure which you are using, in that you have to add two condition EDI1 and EDI2. Those two conditions will contain the base price and total price of material which is there in the customer purchase order. This will contain the customer purchase order price. The PO price will be there in this condition, but the sales price in the sales order will come based on our sales configuration. This ED1 and ED2 price will be there just for a reference. And if you want to do some billing block, if the price is not same, that is also possible. So this all setting we have to do in the receiver system for creating the sales order. So let's do all one by one.